Today we have this 1970s Remington Streamliner vintage portable typewriter. I'm gonna show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Margins are located up top here and you just push down and move them like that. I'm gonna keep that on the zero and this one is gonna be around the 70 or 65. And that should put you right on the beginning and the end of the page. This is your paper bale that sits on top of the paper to hold it down. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, get you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three. Actually only one and two. We're gonna keep, we're gonna uh, test that two by switching that down to the two and it does work good, but we're gonna keep it on single for now and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. Really nice typing machine. The print looks really nice too. Has a really nice color, like a neon green. To pull the paper out easy, you just flip this switch forward and it'll unlock the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock or multiple pages. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it will not load correctly. We've got a backspace on the top left. That works good, a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, you just hit the shift button again. And we have a carriage release on the top side here that allows you to control the carriage freely. And when you get to the end of the margin, there's a mechanism that will lock the keys so they won't hit the platen. And to get past that, there's a margin release on the top right here. It just has an arrow going each direction. And you hit that and it'll let you type past that margin so you can finish a word at the end of the page. Open the hood. To open the hood, you just squeeze on the sides there. And you want to be careful, this is made out of plastic. So you could break these little, uh, little arms that lock in there. And we have the spools, brand new ribbon loaded on the left side here. So it's pulling to the right. And to put this back on, you want to push it on from the front and, and squeeze like that and just kind of manipulate it on. Easy as that. And this is a lock right here. So if you push it towards the front, when it's like that, you push it towards the front, it'll lock. So that will protect it when it's in the case. And sometimes you maybe you'll forget something, you'll think something's wrong and you just need to unlock it from there. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.